What's up, fight fans? Main man, me, man, here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in main man, me, man's boxing form? Hey, look, man. So the thing is this. Congratulations to Arthur Baturbia for defending his world titles and defeating Callum Smith by seventh round stoppage, fight fans. Dropping him a couple times along the way in the seventh round. Looking very, very impressive against Callum Smith. Pretty much coming forward all night, systematically breaking down Callum Smith. Callum Smith looking to basically lean on his back foot and flick his jab and try to flick an occasional right hand. But pretty much was getting beat up most of this fight. Arthur Baturbia won the jab war. Uh, he won He won the jab fight. Uh, Arthur Baturbia landed the cleaner, harder shots. And he clearly, his shots were taking much more out of Callum Smith than Callum Smith could ever take out of Arthur Baturbia. Now, I knew that Arthur Baturbia was going to win this fight. I called for an eighth round stoppage. I really didn't honestly see anything last night that I didn't really expect, fight fans. I expected for Arthur Baturbia to be the more harder puncher, uh, to be landing the better shots. I believe he landed a body shot in like round two that I don't even know if Callum Smith ever really recovered from. I mean, Shalom, Arthur Baturbia is a hard, hard puncher. And if you try to fight him at his game, the punching game, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's hard to win that game against Baturbi. But even worse, if you fight in the retreating game where you're just on your back foot, you're flicking your jab, trying to keep him at bay and throw an occasional right hand. Well, in that posture, you're not gathering that much power. So you're pretty much a sit and duck in that posture as well. If you're not using lateral movement in an educated boxing brain, knowing when, knowing when to take things away, knowing when to pluck them with certain shots, then, you, you know, you're going to have problems. You have to think against Arthur Baturbi. The thing is, Baturbia's biggest weak point in its show kind of last night is when you kind of push him back on the back foot, make him a bit more indecisive. But when he's more all offense and he's coming forward and sure that he can kind of hurt you, that makes him a very, very, very dangerous fighter. And so Callum Smith pretty much got folded last night, fight fans. It is what it is. Callum Smith now, you know, he's pondering whether or not he's going to go forward with his career. We know that, you know, he's a former world champion at 168 pounds, but as far as 175, and when it comes to the two best at the class, Bilbo and Baturbia, well, Callum Smith, in my opinion, is not part of that class. But we will see which way his career continues to go. Um, looks like he'll maybe just kind of look over the scene. I think there's still a couple fights out there for him if he's interested with guys like Anthony Yard, maybe a Joshua Boatze or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, something like that would be cool for Callum Smith. But as for Arthur Baturbia, we know moving forward that we're talking about Dimitri Bivol. We know that the organizers in Saudi Arabia pretty much already got this on track. Bob Arum has been talking about this leading up into the fight, saying that everything is not quite done. But uh, if he feels as though he's very confident that everything will be done. He says that they're looking to maybe go three months after Ramadan. So we'll see, fight fans. But I tell you this, sizing him up for Dimitri Bivol last night, I got to tell you, man, it's the same old thing with me, man. I know that he can punch hard. I know he's a hard puncher. He's got really good boxing pedigree. He's a former Olympian. I get all of that. And, I, and I'm fully aware of everyone he's for in the amateurs. But here's the thing, man. And this is just, I keep coming back to the same old thing with Baturbiev. Everybody that he's fought, fought him at it, try to fight him at his game. Marcus Brown tried to do it, Vosdick tried to do it, Joe Smith tried to do it, Callum Smith tried to do it. All of these guys, they want to try to lay down hard shots on Arthur Baturbia, maybe some incoming fire, right? That's normally the way because he's shorter, uh, but he he's shorter and he's normally got to cover most of the real estate. So they like to put punches on him, maybe beat him to the punch. And they think that that's normally the way to beat this guy. But see, Dimitri Bivol doesn't fight in that fashion, fight fans. As a matter of fact, no one in that Arthur Baturbi of his four in his last four to five fights fights anything like Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol is a fighter that takes tools away, man. Like, he's not going to sit there and allow Arthur Baturbi to just freely throw his right hand whenever he feels, though. You know, he's not going to be right there in front of Arthur Baturbi. He's going to be constantly moving, changing the angles, changing the looks on Arthur Baturbi. These type of things can cause Arthur Baturbi to become more cautious. It's easy for him to swing for the fences against guys that's right there in front of him. But what's going to happen when you get hit with a jab and then the guy's out of there? What's going to happen when you want to use your right hand, but he's moving to the opposite side, not giving, giving that right hand a chance? That, to me, is more Dimitri Bivol. 
And Arthur Baturbia has not fought nothing like that style, fight fans, in this, at least since he came to prominence. And so, yes, he's stopping everybody, and yes, it's all nice and, and dandy, but I just was, I I'm, just can't wait to see what happens when he gets in there with a the guy with a huge boxing brain. He's been getting in there with guys with huge boxing hearts, but what about the huge boxing brain? And I, be, I believe that Dmitry Bevel has a boxing brain that will take tools away from Arthur Baturbiev, a bit frustrate him a bit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even make the fight a bit boring. But at the end of the day, fight fans, I think that's a path of victory for Dimitri Bivol, and I favor him in the fight with Arthur Baturbia. But however, congratulations to Baturbia for holding up his end of the deal, you know what I'm saying? Getting through his last fight and looking very impressive, impressive to do so. That adds more momentum to the Bivol and Baturbia fight, and I can't wait. We'll talk more about this on the live stream, fight fans. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, 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 rock the bells. To the next video, man. Peace out.